been a while, but we are back up at the property here. We decided to take a little bit of a break. We ordered some cabinets and they came today. So we brought them up here with the trailer. We got cabinets, a couple 12 inches, 18 inches, 30 inches. So we're just about to unload this. tape sand prime paint of the ceilings that was gonna to be too much we we're getting quotes that were thousands and thousands of dollars so we thought those wall towels work so well why don't we go with ceiling towels for the ceiling so we got some very beautiful decorative ceiling towels this is what we're gonna be putting on the ceiling it's gonna be much easier for us and we think it's actually gonna turn out looking way better let's crack open a box and see the front and then you just glue on these parts here. Yep. Some of the corners. Come up. It would be nice. Once we get up the ceiling house, then we can start putting it on the floor, and then once the floor is in. Or no. What do we do? Ceiling house on Ceiling cabinets. house, cabinets. Floor is going to be the last. Yeah, floor is last. It's all a work in progress. Everything. We had to take a month off because it just got too much. We needed to take a break, go on a little vacation. And now we're back at it. So we got some trail cameras to set up around the property uh, just to kind of see what wildlife was here while we weren't here and to our surprise there is tons of deer and a bear a bear we put <laughs> We put up this feeder that dispenses food every so often, however we set it. The last time we came here, it was knocked over. What kind of plant is that? There's yeah. fruit. Interesting. We came here and it was knocked over. But we had one of the trail cans set up right there. So we took the SD cards home, we looked at it, and we see this bear <laughs> patrolling around trying to get the food. Then he finally just gets up on his two back feet and he pushes the thing over and probably has a feast and then he comes over here to our other feeding spot and eats that too. I mean, we don't mind feeding him and all, but just don't knock over the feeder. You ruin it for everyone. And this gets really, really grown in here. This is crazy. Once we're up here more and we can manicure the land, it's gonna be a lot better. The bad thing about up here is the flies. Those black flies and those horse flies just attack you and the mosquitoes. The feeder is still up. It actually broke last time because it fell over, so there has to patch it up a little bit right there. Got the strap just in case we run into a wild bear out here. <laughs> bears here, I'm like, gotta be careful. <laughs> just getting the glue gun ready before we start applying the glue to the back of the ceiling towels and sticking them up on the ceiling. We're gonna start in that corner right there and just build it out. We actually bought some more floor towels to do this part right here. We're gonna do the ceiling towels on here and then our bedroom. So here's the first one going up. There are certain parts that are flat that are going to hit the wall, and that's the parts that you put the glue on. So we 
we've got six pieces up so far and it looks so cool. This is really different. It's a unique style of doing your ceiling. You're doing everything out the box, babe. Everything out the box. <laughs> I am not conforming anymore. Yes. <laughs> Super excited to get it all done. All right, we got our first box in. 12 panels from the box. No, it's looking so far. Man, that looks good. We decided to go with R3D, decorative 3D ceiling tile. We have R3D actually got our wall panels and everything too. It's looking good. Different, that's for sure. It's kind of like a flower cross pattern. And it's hot up here. Sweat. So we just gotta finish right here. Oh! Daddy wants to show us some tricks. Some tricks that he got stuck this sleeve. this part of the ceiling. It's turned out really good. We've had a couple hiccups along the way, but managed to fix them, work them out. It's looking really good, very unique. Okay, we are a little worried with Heading to the sloped part right here, but because these pieces are very thin and able to bend, bend is in there. Yeah. Perfect. Just able to put the glue on and bend it right over the seam because it's flat and then it goes on an angle. So that is working out perfectly. On a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate this so far, Johnny? The positions he has to get into to put these things up. As you can see, they are overgrowing and they're very invasive species. We found a berry plant. It looks like blueberries. Like, look here. Let us know. Does anybody know what type of plant this is? 
I think it's a blueberry. It looks like kind of looks like a blueberry, but I don't I'm not I'm not sure. I don't know, I'm not sure either. Okay, so this is what we got done this time. We think it looks absolutely incredible. It's a really different, really unique look. We decided we were actually going to put the ceiling tiles down on this wall, and we're gonna save the other wall tiles that we got for our utility room and our bathroom. This took the whole day. We did take breaks in between, but again, we are very pleased with how it turned out. Isn't that right? That's all for now, folks. Bye-bye.